last two days. Like, I didn't check in with you because, honestly, I was giving my eyes, like, a break from contacts, for one thing. And I just wanted to get it, you know, finished up. Nothing really monumentous happened in those two days. Um, and then I just wanted to give you, like, my reflections today because today would be day 31 or effectively it's the end of the challenge and I just have some things I want to talk about about the whole thing so I was reminded by my family last night when they were talking to me about it when I was eating dinner that you know it wasn't that different than I normally eat I eat mostly raw anyways so what I did was not that extreme and for me and so I didn't notice like a whole lot of changes that people might if they were like coming over from a standard American diet for example they may have lost like a lot of weight they might have gained like a lot of mental clarity they may have seen improvements in their skin or their hair or something that I just did not experience to the same level because this is really what I'm used to so the only differences in my diet generally um, on a day-to-day -day basis outside of the raw, raw challenge is that I eat rice and I eat like cooked vegetables and like potatoes and sometimes tofu. That's really the only difference. I eat mainly raw. So I am going back to that and I think occasionally I will have full raw days or maybe full raw weeks. and that will just be the norm as it always has been. Now my main concern or thing I was trying to experiment and improve on was the condition of my skin and my cystic acne. And as you can see, no difference. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I have been eating this way for a long time and that's probably why there's not a big difference. Um, because it wasn't like a shock to my system or a cleansing or something when you eat This way all the time. It is disappointing. I did expect it to help me a little bit and I don't think it has anything to do with the actual like raw diet. I'm just thinking maybe my acne um, Is not Influenced by my diet as much as it is by maybe other external factors like I do yeah. touch my face that's Isaac in the background playing ABC Mouse um, I do touch my face more than I want to it's hard to it's mostly unconscious and I do know that I could be drinking more water I have like I said stopped taking all of my skin medications so there is probably a bit of rebellion from that as well and I have only just recently stopped using oils on my face so it's still gonna be a process trying to get my hormones to balance out and if you've been watching me from the beginning or maybe me on my other channel Graver Mama then you know that my acne is completely hormonal because when I went vegan for the first time all my acne went away but when I started on hormone replacement therapy it all came back very aggressively so my hormones need to balance um, I need to drink more water I need to stop touching my face all these things need to come together and it's gonna take time and I guess it was just sort of like a foolish dream of mine thinking that you know eating fruits and vegetables for 30 days would completely eliminate my acne when my case is very special and specific so that just wasn't gonna happen um, however I don't like regret doing this challenge it wasn't much of a challenge for me because that's how I eat like I said um, and it was nice I hope that people watching this got a lot of good raw food ideas out of it I will in the future be making raw food recipe videos my forte is kind of raw desserts um, I make them all the time for my family and they love them I have for years now so I'll definitely be releasing more raw recipes if people want to be raw vegan or are raw vegan or are looking for more recipes. I've said this before, I do not think that there are enough raw vegans on YouTube. There's not enough information about it out there. I can only think of maybe like 12 raw vegan YouTubers off the top of my head. And there are so many vegan YouTubers, which is awesome. However, there are still so many more like omnivorous 
YouTubers. We can still always use more to, you know, talk about our point of view as well. So, anywho, if you watch this whole challenge, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciated you um, giving me your feedback as the time went on. Thank you so much. Sorry about the sound. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Bye.